Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with what's effectively a sequel to my last tutorial, which uh, showed you how to create this nice and easy torn corrugated cardboard texture. Now, after I finished that composition, I thought, well, maybe there's something more we can be doing with this. So, uh, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take uh, the cardboard texture elements you created in the last tutorial and turn them into this, a torn cardboard letters effect, which is pretty funky. Now, if you haven't watched the last tutorial, um, probably best to stop here, go back to the last one, because you'll be needing the assets created in the last tutorial to create this effect. So, um, sorry if you came here first, but bugger off and come back later. So, to start off with, we're going to create a new composition and we'll call it Torn Letters. Um, probably best to make it the same um, size and shape and frame rate and duration as your previous uh, Torn Cardboard Assets and just hit OK. Then go to your project panel and find the pre-comp layers, the corrugated layer, the tear layer and the top layer. Holding down control, select all three and drag them into your torn letter composition. Now I'm just going to rearrange them by uh, holding down control, shift and alt and nudging the top layer up to the top. And same thing for the corrugated layer, nudge that one down to the bottom. Now, to create this technique, we'll be using uh, the track mat feature in After Effects. And uh, just in case you didn't already know, to expose the track mat settings on your composition panel, you just tap the F4 key, and it'll bring up this uh, different set of options in your composition panel. And to go back to the standard view, just tap F4 again. So obviously, the next thing to do is to create our text layer. Now I've uh, chosen a nice fat typeface. Um, you'll need to use a chunky typeface in this, otherwise uh, it probably won't be legible by the time you get to the end of it. And uh, Rockwell is always a good one. So as you can see from the character panel, I'm uh, using 160 pixel with 135 uh, leading. Just uh, nudge that so it's smack in the center. Now with the text layer you just created selected, hit Control and D to duplicate it. And what we're going to do is actually drag the second text instance so it sits on top of the tear layer. And you'll see that now we've got text and then the top layer, then a duplicated text, and then the tear layer. The corrugated layers are background so that can stay as it is. Now the reason we've ordered them like this is so we can use them as track mats. Now as I mentioned earlier, you bring up the track mat option by tapping F4. So do that now. Select your tear layer pre-comp, and in the track mat drop-down, select alpha inverted mat. This is our text. Now track mats always operate on the layer above them, and that's why we've arranged them in this order. So if I just uh, hide the visibility of the top layers, you'll notice that what's happened here is it's actually taken the alpha values of the text we just created, and essentially cut them out of the uh, the tear layer to create this uh, effect. I'll just uh, bring the other layers back. I'm going to do the same thing with the top layer pre-comp. So uh, select the top layer pre-comp, go to your track mat, and select alpha inverted mat. This is our text too. Now the next step in creating that torn cardboard effect is to uh, select the top text layer and make sure that you've got black selected for the outline color of your text and we'll just increase the outline value probably to about 20 pixels and as you can see it just expands the cutout that we created with the track mat so you can see the layer beneath it and we're going to do a similar thing to the second text layer but uh, not quite as large so uh, just take that up to about 10 pixels. Now go to your effects and presets panel and find the rough and edges effect and again apply that to the top text layer and in the effect controls panel increase the border value until you get 
the effect you want. So it's, that's about 15. And now I'm just going to hit Control and C to uh, copy that, that effect and paste it onto the second text layer. And maybe reduce the border back down to about 12. Now I've noticed that I've actually lost some of the detail in the text here. So I'm going to go back to the character panel and just drop the border we created earlier down to about 4 pixels so we get, uh, get some more text definition because obviously as text we want it to be legible. Okay, as you remember from the first tutorial, I used drop shadows just to increase the uh, authenticity of this effect. So select your top layer pre-comp, right click, go to layer styles and select drop shadow. Now we just want to tone that down quite a lot, so uh, drop the opacity down to about 30%, drop the distance down to 1, and the size down to 2. And that'll just give us a slight edge, but nothing too severe. In fact, I might just take that down to one on the size as well. Back to the tear layer pre-comp. Right click on that, go to layer styles, drop shadow, and twirl them down. Now, if you remember, I swap multiply to linear light drop the opacity right down to about 30%. And that gave us that realistic peaks and troughs kind of shadowing that you can see here. Take the distance up to about 7 and increase the size to about 10. Have a scroll back out. You can see it's given us that effective um, text cutout of cardboard look, which is kind of funky. So once you've created your text and you're happy with it, just select all of your layers, hit Control, Shift and C to pre-compose them. Hit F4 to take the track map options away and bring back the default options. Turn it into a 3D object. Right click and select New Light. Make sure it's uh, a spotlight with intensity 100, cone angle 180, and cone feather 30. And we'll just drop that on. And now you can play around with the light and the point of interest to get the effect you're after. And because this is the 3D object, you can now tap the R button to bring up the rotation. Maybe just uh, Tilt the rotation a little bit, give a little bit of interest, and then just hit S to bring up the scale, take it to 105, oh, 108, and there you have it, a rather funky text cut out of torn cardboard. As always, the project file for this will be up on my website at shortformvideo.com. That's it from me for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.